an alleged physical altercation between a principal and a teacher leading to a sit-out at an Eastern New Providence primary school. LaDawn Davis has the story. Chanting solidarity forever, the more than 20 teachers here at the Thelma Gibson Primary School say they've had enough and want the principal at the school removed. It's alleged that on Monday during normal school hours, the principal was involved in a physical altercation with a female teacher. Teachers claim that prior to that, she victimized those who spoke out against her and she dismantled the reading and other special units at the Elizabeth Estate School. President of the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Belinda Wilson, also feels the principal is not fit to lead the institution and noted that the teacher is taking action. The teacher has made a police report. Uh, the union's lawyers will be getting that report from the Elizabeth Estate Police Station today. Um, the teacher will not drop the charges. She will stick to it. The, the, she is supported by the majority of the teachers at the school. And in fact, we've had numerous complaints and concerns about Mrs. Daxon. And if your memory serves you correctly, as, it's, as mine does, it was Mrs. Daxon in 2019, the principal that had to be removed from Carlton Francis Primary School for similar actions. So we hope I've sent a full report to the to everybody, actually, to the minister, the permanent secretary, the minister of national security, the unions, lawyers, last evening, very late last evening, along with a petition that has a number of signatures, not only of teachers and teachers' aides, but staff on the campus and parents. So we hope that for the um, smooth operations of Thelma Gibson Primary School, that the Ministry of Education will see fit to remove Mrs. Daxon. Now, education officials say they cannot confirm whether a physical altercation did in fact take place. However, Education Minister the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin confirming that complaints have been made, including a petition filed by teachers last week. She says education authorities are working diligently to ensure that the matter is resolved. We have asked for reports from BEMU, which is the manager's union, which represents principal and from BUT which represent the teacher or teachers who are um, engaged in, or involved in any concerns or disputes and we are analyzing those as we speak. We, the, the incident was yesterday, we got them I think late last night and so the ministry will um, determine um, the best way forward. We, we cannot afford disruptions, I, I've just explained that in, in such detail. We cannot afford disruption. The greatest, um, we, we, the greatest levels of absenteeism we saw, based on the statistics that I saw, came from primary schools. This is very serious. This is very, very serious. These are not normal times. And so far as possible, we have to find common ground. Now, I don't know. We have to see what is this issue, and we have to resolve it as quickly as possible. But while education officials seek to resolve this incident, we're told that the principal also has another court matter involving another school. Meantime, the teachers participating in Tuesday's sit-out are still not prepared to work with her and signed out hours before the school day ended. They argue that they will not return to the classroom until instructed by the Bahamas Union of Teachers to do so. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LaDawn Davis.